Hi, this is Conrad. My box just arrived in the post, and I'm going to do a review, a comparison between the two decks. Both of them are CS Cherry deck, but the one is the superior smooth finish, and the other one is the linen finish. If anybody does order, I would strongly recommend getting the express option. I've uh, This one has, has arrived with the regular shipping option, and it's taken over two months to get to me. I'm not blaming MPC. I think the South African Postal Service might have something to do with it, but I wouldn't go with that option again. Okay, I've just taken out the box, uh, both cling wrapped. You'll see the one on the left is darker, and that's the superior smooth. The one on the right is the linen finish, and it's a lighter finish. I don't, I don't know why. Um, the file I've submitted is ex it's the identical file. It's just it's printed differently, and that's got nothing to do with me. And I definitely have a preference for the darker one. Yeah. Uh, so I've opened the deck now, uh, both of them, and you can just uh, I've I've laid them out like this so that you can see the difference. There is a much darker, more saturated um, feel for the superior smooth. And if you put them side by side, you can compare it and you can see it quite easily. So I think if you prefer the lighter cards, then go ahead and order the linen finish. If you prefer the darker, more saturated, which is the same as the um, uh, prototype deck, then order the smooth, superior smooth. These are my babies. This is Toby. Hello, my boy. Hey. This is Peanut over here, his little sister. They're brother and sister, and they're both Virgos. <laughs> I'm trying to get this deck review finished. I don't need to put my foots on my table, but uh, these guys just won't give me a break. Hey, peanuts. Hey, baby. <laughs> I'm going to try to hold this as still as I can so that you could see that light reflecting off of the linen finish, too. It's a very subtle, um, but it, I mean, but it's still very smooth. And when I say these cards are smooth, they definitely don't slip. They're not slippery. Uh, actually, the, the deck that I've just recently got is the second edition of Mary L. And I am so disappointed with that, uh, the the card finish. It's just like you, it's almost like you can't you can't hold the cards in your hand without them sliding out. And these cards have a very silky, smooth feel to them, but they're not slippery in any way whatsoever. That's one of my favorite cards, High Priestess. You can see the, the color in the on the card on the right. It, it looks a bit uh, lemony. Emperor also, I just prefer the orange on the Superior Smooth, the one on the left. Just a, a richer color. I like both of these. It's one of the cards I changed from the prototype. I made the sun a little bit more yellow behind the angel's head. Or that winged figure's head, should I say. I love that strong amber color here. I love it. One of my favorite cards. This here is the prototype Hangman, the brown one, and I obviously changed that now because the original Hangman is has a more grey background. I don't know why it came out like that, but that's just. But I've changed it back now to to grey. People have been saying that the the backgrounds look like it's a you know cracked wall or cracked paint or rusted something. I mean, it's it's all of the above. I've taken images where the where it looks like it's aged. It look, I want something to look like it's old or antique. One of the inspirations for me producing this deck was the Vintage Pam. And that, and I, I, I'm not criticizing that deck because I, I have a copy myself. I do love it. But I felt like that deck, uh, each card had a, had a sort of generic um, filter, like a digital filter on Photoshop put over it. And what I wanted to create, I wanted each card to have a unique uh, background that was different 
and I wanted it to look like the paint was peeling off the wall or the enamel was cracked or the, the metal was a bit rusted. I wanted to, to give that aged look. I mean, this deck goes back to over 100 years ago. So I want, to, I, want to, I want it to look like it was it's from 100 years ago, not like it was from, you know, 2020, 2019, whatever. So if there is enamel, I've taken photographs of enamel, uh, metal, wood, walls, ceramics, whatever I could get. Another thing that I feel adds to the authenticity of the deck looking old is that background. It's not a digital background. That cream uh, brownie background is actually a scan, which I took from a Bible dictionary that I own. And the Bible dictionary is over 100 years old. It belonged to my grandfather. And so that old paper look is not a digital thing. It is actually a real scan of paper that is over 100 years old. I love this one. I'm also going to put in um, Melissa and Renee. They've both done reviews of this deck and I love their reviews. So I'm going to put their information in now for you just to check out uh, what they've said about the deck. Page of Cups, love it. What I've also done here, the, the K in Knight, I think I might point to it now. Yeah, there you go. I actually, I actually centered the words Knight of Cups. It was to the left and I've, I've, I've repositioned it. I think King of Cups also centered the font. Can you see the fingernail, the thumbnail? <laughs> I've changed that. I was it was very squared and it just looked a bit irregular. So I've rounded the thumbnail off. There's another card also. I think it's the uh, coins, the Ace of Coins, Pentacles. I've also just rounded that off. And here the crackle back is at the foreground. What I've done here for Ten of Pentacles and also uh, Seven of, I think the World Card and Seven of Cups, I made that crack look very small so it looks far away just to give it that perception of depth. I think here we're also coming up to a nail that I might have edited very slightly. I just love the colouring in there. Yeah, I've slightly edited, I just rounded off that nail a little bit, it's made it a bit more natural, I think. <laughs> it was irritating me. Another one where that where the where the crackle looks a lot smaller to give it great. Uh, perception of depth. I've got a whole range of color in that. Don't know why, just I like the way it looks, I suppose. <laughs> yeah for the the swords um the the skies are a bit more tumultuous is that the right word uh, a bit more crazy um, to show a lot more of the like the negative emotion of the swords what's coming up now on the i think it's the seven um I love the ocean on this one on the left, the, those still waters. Yeah, what I did here, I'm just going to bring in the the prototype card. The guy's uh, hoodie, his pajamas was pretty much the same color as the, the pumpkin sky. <laughs> so that's also one of the cards that I changed from the prototype, just so that I can have a more of a, like a difference between his clothing and the back. 
my eight. For the nine, I'm just going to bring it up to the camera because you can't see the crackle back very clearly, but it is there. For the ten, also, you got to you got to look, but I have definitely included a crackle on every single card. And ones that are less noticeable is the clouds on the tower and the wings on the devil. This guy's face is a bit orange, but it's okay. Again, I also um, centered the font for the Knights of Swords. And that's it. Eh? And there are my backs.